Now this is section 2.5, implicit differentiation. And so here we're gonna get into um, some more, I would say, complicated differentiation. But normally when you have your equations, we're normally given them in explicit form, which means the y is already substituted, it's already solved by itself. So it's always y equals and then some function of x. However, in this section, you're going to be given equations in what's called implicit form, which means the y might not be by itself. And why? Because, or excuse me, why? Why? Because y is the independent variable. I'm sorry, is the dependent variable. It depends on what x is. And that'll tell you what y is, okay? So in the explicit form, you always have your dependent variable variable equal to something with the independent variables in it. Whereas in the implicit form, you do not have the dependent variable all by itself on one side of the equation. It's all mixed in within the equation. Now, when we were taking the derivatives of the explicit form, we would just take the derivative of this side and then take the derivative of that side. However, now we're going to be taking the of expressions that may have x's and y's in them. And the one thing we have to remember is that if you take the derivative of y, you end up with dy dx, or another way of saying that is y prime, okay? So every time we take the derivative of y, we can write dy dx or y prime. So here's the guidelines for implicit differentiation. Um, it says one differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. Collect all terms with y prime or dy dx to the left side and all terms without a y prime or a dy dx to the right side. Factor out the y prime or dy dx depending on which notation you're using on the left side and then divide to isolate the y prime or dy dx. Okay now as far as the product rules and the um, chain rules and quotient rules and all of that, if the functions have a y or an x, you treat them as a product or a quotient. And the chain rule should always apply, okay? If your base or your argument or your angle is not just an x, you should be applying that chain rule, okay? So let's go ahead and do this here. It says find dy dx by implicit differentiation. So they want us to use dy dx notation. Now, Take the derivative of y cubed. What I'm going to end up with is 3, keep my base the same, y squared, but then I have to multiply by the derivative of my base. And the derivative of y is dy dx. Minus, here I'm going to bring down my 2, keep my base the same, decrease my power by 1. And then if I multiply by the derivative of the base to just always apply the chain rule, you just get one. So it really is not necessary for that particular term. And then the derivative of a constant four is just zero. Now if I clean this up, it cannot be cleaned up too much, but I do wanna clean it up as much as I can. Now I'm going to collect all the terms dy dx to the left and all the terms without a dy dx to the right. So that means this term here will need to move to the right side. And I will move it by adding 2x to both sides of my equation. Now, it says for me to factor out the dy dx, but I only have one term with the dy dx, so I don't necessarily need to do the factoring part or the factoring step, but I can divide to isolate the dy dx. So if I want this by itself, I'm going to divide by 3y squared, and whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So I end up with dy dx equal to 2x over 3y squared. And this is how you differentiate implicitly.